Back here at home, Honolulu's rail project is getting ready for a new phase of construction in downtown Honolulu. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from Kalihi with all the details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christina Naranj. Yes, we've been covering the latest updates when it comes to the rail project. And here, still hanging out with us all week of today, we have Lori Kahikina, who is the president and CEO of Heart. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, thanks so much for joining us here on Wake Up Today. And I think one of the top questions that we all have is when the rail will be open for the public. Oh, I'm sure. That's everyone's top of mind question. Even my dad, he's always, when am I going to get on that train? So <laughs> the first segment from East Kapolei to um, the state we are still slated for the end of the year. Right now, Hitachi is doing preliminary testing and commissioning, and as that progresses, they submit all of their documentation to HART, and HART, DTS, and HDOT have to approve it. But we are planning to go into trial running in the August-September time frame, and we have to go 90 days without issues. And so if that August-September time frame slips, that 90-day slips, and you know, I'm, I'm hesitant to say, yep, 90 days, we're not going to have a problem. We can hand this over, no problem, to DTS, but we have to anticipate that there may be issues. So we're, the goal is before the end of the year, but it just depends if we run into any problems. All right, well, we hope to be there. Wake yes. up today to, for that moment. It's a big moment. Now, as far as the Ala Moana yeah. phase of this project, yeah. what's the update on that? So not too much of an update. We are still working uh, with FTA on the recovery plan to accept our truncated scope to Civic Center, which is the cross street of Halekawila and South Street. But we are committed, whether it's HART, HART Board, City Administration, and I believe even City Council, we have to get to Ala Moana. That is the transportation hub of the island, if you were to talk to DTS. And we have to get to UH. We have to be able to connect all four stations. But as of right now, the first step, we have to finish the scope that we are in agreement with FTA, which is Civic Center. But the next phase is to Ala Moana. And we could possibly get additional funding from the federal government from Ala Moana to UH, but federal funding is not going to be allowed for that segment from Civic Center to Ala Moana. And last question, I know you went over this in the last half hour, but for people who are waking up in downtown, tell us about the work that we can expect for the rest of the summer. Yes, thank you for bringing that up. So, Coluccio is our contractor to do utility relocations from Ka'aahi, so that's Ivile to Cook Street. And it is going to be um, not pleasant. Um, we are going to be disrupting traffic, but Coluccio has monthly outreach meetings to keep the public informed. Hart's own PI group is reaching out to businesses and community in the area, so there will be some congestion, and most of the work is going to be done during the day, but if things fall behind schedule, they will have to work at night. So we're trying to keep the public informed as much as we can. Lori, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate all the information you provided us this morning. Thank you for having me. And if you want any more details or if you'd like to watch these interviews again, you can visit our website later today at KH12.com and keep posted here on Wake Up Today. Reporting out here at the scene in Kalihi, Dallas and Averos, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. All right, thank you so much for the heads up. Coming up next, we're working for Hawaii with another live look at your roads. Plus, some videos on TikTok can be a little extra and over the top. Find out what the